clippers are the lifeblood of any barber shop. And that's why a barber in the North Metro has started an international initiative to make sure that barbers in developing countries have the right tools. Maury Glover has that story. I just love the creative aspect of cutting hair. I love that I get to express myself creatively. Tribes Barber Studios is full of nods to the African roots of owner Henry Tribes. <laughs> But this Nigerian immigrant is creating a buzz with more than just his haircuts. Like, that's better. Bro, I love how these feel, man. He's helping his fellow barbers, even if they're half a world away. It's easily the most important tool we use in the barbershop. And uh, while we have different types of clippers that might serve different purposes, everything starts with the clipper. Earlier this month, Tribe started a new campaign called Clippers Without Borders to collect new and gently used clippers so, to donate to barbers in West Africa. A cosmetology school donated these. Tribes says most of his colleagues in Nigeria can't afford quality clippers, which can cost between $150 to $200, or they can't find them, even if they can afford them. It's just not as accessible as it is to us here, where I can just walk down the streets to Sally's and get a pair of clippers. They kind of have to jump through hoops to uh, get the clippers over there. So that's what prompted me to start this initiative. So far, Tribes has collected more than 60 pairs of clippers, along with other supplies. He plans to wrap up his efforts next week and deliver the clippers to a network of barbers in Nigeria by the end of the year. A lot of them kind of settle for your cheaper clippers that might break after a month or two or maybe a few months. Um, so that's why it's important for us to, you know, um, carry on with this initiative so they can get those clippers that'll be that'll sustain them for a few years. If all goes well, Tribes hopes to expand Clippers Without Borders across the African continent and in the process help his neighborhood hangout become part of a global village. That is a cut above the rest. And we just want people to see this more as like a hub or a cultural hub versus um, just a barbershop. In Spring Lake Park, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Ah, beautiful work. It's like artwork. It is. It's amazing.